everybody um, this right here is just gonna be a real quick little short video to kind of show you we have a local soldier was um, killed in a helicopter crash uh, I believe a marine I also believe he was um, graduated in 1990 to give you an idea of the age I don't know all the exact information so I don't want to be held to that hopefully but they have decided to come out here and basically put up American flags every few feet down both sides of the highway here, the main road through town. Um, the high school students are doing a lot of it. I'm not sure who else is involved in this, but I know they're out here doing some of it. So there's a couple people running around in trucks with a um, basically a pile of flags that they're putting out, handing to different people. There also is at least one gentleman, I think maybe two, that are going around with a very large, um, I guess, post hole maker. So it's a really neat little setup. The guy's actually dropping or mounting the holes so they can actually mount the flags in much easier. Um, not sure how long they're planning on being out here, but it's just a very wonderful, um, I guess, show of support for the loss of his family in that. I believe they're actually, um, not sure how, like I said, I believe they're gonna be leaving these out for quite a while. I'm not sure exactly how long they're gonna be out, but it's interesting seeing how many people are out here, give, you know, lending their support, giving their hand. Uh, some of these people are clearly not high school students, so I'm not sure where they heard about it or where you go to get, I guess, signed up to help. So anyway, um, Hope this is just a little bit of information here driving through town and I'm not sure how many they'll be out here total when it's all over and done with but I might kind of come back out maybe tomorrow morning and get another shot of this to show you how many there are total but we've now been from almost the city limit sign going through now what they call the levee and you can clearly see they're still putting out more signs and more flags not signs sorry about that but they um, are running into some issue. There's a large chunk of town here where it's all sidewalk. There's no ground to actually mount the flags. Now that we're back to ground, they're clearly having a lot more flags to put out. So I'm gonna go ahead and drive on through town here and see how far out it goes. And then I'll probably pull over somewhere and try and get a few actual photos of this stuff. I took a little bit of video of my T3i and this video here is actually with my flip cam. So I'm not sure how well it's going to show out. There's really no zoom on this thing, so it's kind of hard to actually see exactly what's going on. But I'll find some place to maybe stop and get a few photos. I was hoping to maybe get ahead of the group, putting the flags out somewhere and pull over, maybe get a few photos of the group coming up and actually installing the flags. So this part here, they've only got them on one side of the road, so I'm not sure if they need to didn't get permission from somebody to put them out or if they just are running low on flags here so we're now coming down by the um, bottom of the hill if you guys are familiar with Centerville Iowa at all this is where the fairway building is so there's quite a few flags clearly all the way through here we're now getting ready to come up on if you want to look it up the intersection of highway 2 and highway 5 and the zip code here is 52544 if anybody wants to look that up and see a map to kind of see where the stuff's at there's clearly one of those zip ties that broke on that flag so hopefully somebody will get back and get that fixed um pretty much i don't know it's just it's a sad thing to see from what i heard the um helicopter was just a malfunction and a crash but i did hear that some of the enemy troops have tried to take credit for it whether they actually did or not i'm sure they'll try and take credit for it because that seems to happen no matter what so there's a guy right there, I'm not sure if you can see, the guy in the red shirt is holding one of those posts to make the holes and clearly all these people right here are holding the flags and basically waiting for the post hole maker to come. So on the other side right up there it looks like we have a police car kind of helping block traffic in that. So it's kind of nice that the, the whole area is coming out to show their support. So I'm not sure what's actually blocking traffic here. but. We have something going on here. Well, looks like this young girl here is having to move because of the fact that they end up giving too much gap between their flags. So I guess they're trying to catch back up on their distances and that. So 
waiting for the guy with the post hole um, the spike I guess to come by so and I believe the red GMC truck on the other side of the road over there is actually the one carrying the flags so they're unloading as they go it seems like the kids are kind of once they get their flag put in they're actually leapfrogging up to the front of the group to get another group of flags to install also so back moving here again um, we're getting close going down the hill here we're going to be getting by the hy V store real close here to show you kind of where we're at And now on the opposite side, we're right here across the road from High V. And you can clearly see they're going all the way back up that next hill there. So I did earlier before I had ran grab my camera and that um, saw a van go by and a uh, van but a truck might have been a van but it's pulling an enclosed trailer I know that much and on the back of it it said the flag man so I'm not sure if that's actually who's providing all the flags or if it's just somebody that's little business doing I'm not sure exactly what the deal is that but I might try and look it up and see if that's some guy that runs around the nation doing this kind of thing or if it's somebody local here but we have a group of people standing right here waiting to do something I guess I'm not sure what they're doing but I wonder if they're waiting here for more flags because I think they're still coming down both sides of the highway here and right now we're coming up I uh, here by the BP station you can see they still got flags clearly all the way down the one side of the highway and I would assume they're gonna put them on both so We also have here our local car dealership is flying the flag at half mast. Um, I noticed the John Deere, John Deere dealership out south of town was also doing the same so out of respect. And we're clearly coming out here past the mall and we have flags all the way through here also. So. Looks like we're getting out here near the outside of town here towards just past the Walmart building. And that looks like where the flags have stopped. So I'm not sure exactly where the state limit sign is out this way, but it's gonna be probably pretty close to this area. So it looks like they're gonna run flags from one end of town to the other all the way through our town. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and click this off and check back in a minute.